everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Maya Alexis and I'm a senior computer science major with two AWS certifications in this video I'll be continuing my series of where I talk about an AWS service and how I struggled with it causing me to fail my first AWS cloud practitioner exam if you're taking the solutions architect exam I would still stay tuned and watch because you may learn something that you didn't know before that could help you the AWS service that I'll be talking about today is EC2. EC2 is short for Elastic Compute Cloud, and it is basically virtual service that AWS rents out to customers. These EC2 instances can come in all different types of OS systems, such as Linux, Windows, and Mac. I'm going to talk about four different types of instances that you can purchase when you're using EC2. The first one is called on-demand instances, and as the name states, it's on-demand. You get it right then and there. This one is good because you don't have to commit to anything. So as long as you need it, you have it, and you don't have to like sign any contract saying, oh, I'm going to use this for two days to five days, whatever. So whenever you need it, you have it. Another good thing about this is there are no upfront costs. This instance is best for short term usage or if you have a process that needs to run that cannot be interrupted. The next type is called reserved instances. Think about the name reserved. So this one, you have to commit to reserving this virtual server for one to three years. This one has three options of paying. So you can pay all up front, you can pay none up front, or you can pay partially up front. This one is best if you need a stable environment to run processes and you would like to lower your costs. The next one is called dedicated instances. This one is EC2 instances that are ran on virtual private clouds and are on dedicated hardware that is for a specific customer. So with this one, I don't know if you're familiar with BYOB, but like bring your own beer. This one is bring your own license. So you can have your own licensing, whatever compliant regulations that you need on your virtual machines can all be on there. One thing about this one is that it can be purchased as a reserved instance or an on-demand instance. The last option is called spot instances. This one is the cheapest option out of all of the ones I just mentioned. It's cheapest because AWS can terminate these EC2 instances whenever they want. So basically, when you want to request a spot instance, you put in a bid for how much you would be willing to pay for the instance while it's running. And as the prices change throughout the hours, if your maximum price is reached, the AWS EC2 instance will terminate. But it will give you a two minute warning before it does. So I know you're like, well, why would anybody want one that just terminates by itself whenever it wants? This is what it's good for. This one is best for if you have applications that are flexible, applications that can be interrupted at any point in time, and if you have applications where continuous processing is not required. This one has no upfront commitment fees because it can get terminated at any time and it's offered because it's using AWS's access capacity. Overall, when you're buying different EC2 instances and picking the OS model for it, keep this in mind. Linux and Ubuntu servers are charged by the second. Any other instance type is charged by the hour. So what I mean by that is, for example, if I had a Linux server that was running and it ran for, let's see, five hours, two minutes and 50 seconds. It would get charged all the way to the second. But if I ran a Windows server and I ran it for six hours, five minutes and two seconds, it would have charged me for seven hours. So keep that in mind. Another important keyword is this word called AMI. And AMI is basically a template of a server that you could use when you're setting up EC2 instances. So let's say you put in a whole bunch of time building this Linux server and you need to make another one. You could easily just copy that AMI and put it as a template for the next EC2 instance you're building so you could save more time. So the next thing I wanna talk about is scaling. There's two different types of scaling you can do with EC2 instances. One is horizontal. Horizontal is basically adding 
multiple EC2 instances to help support the application. Vertical scaling is using one EC2 instance, but adding more things to the actual machine, such as adding more memory, adding a larger hard drive, or changing the instance type. The big thing about vertical scaling is there are limitations with it, and it is not cost efficient and highly available. Okay, so I've said a lot about EC2. Now let's get into some keywords to look out for when you're taking your quiz so you know what answer to pick. So our first question is like, uh, a company has EC2 service that they want to run for six months uninterrupted. Okay, the keyword in this one is uninterrupted and six months. So you can rule out spot instances because spot instances can be interrupted. You can rule out reserved instances because they have to be reserved for a year, one to three years. And then dedicated instances and never said anything about how they wanted their own personal thing. So first choice should be on-demand instances. Okay, next one. Um, a company wants to host the application on EC2 servers for a year consistently. Which one would you choose? So keyword a year, keyword consistently. The only option for a year that would be the cheapest for you is doing it on a reserved instance. Next question. Um, a company has a website that they want to host on EC2 instances where the hard drive is not shared with other AWS customers. So keyword in that, not shared, um, there's only an option for that dedicated host. That way they don't have to share with anybody but their own. The last one is a company is running batch jobs where something can be interrupted. Anything that talks about interrupted or they are able to recover easily when terminated or something like that, always remember spot instances. And that is the end of this video. I hope I was able to help you with something. Leave comments below if you have any questions or concerns.